What's up guys, we're back with the 88 Live feature table review, this time with some crazy format actions, so without further ado, let's jump into the action. So what's going on here? We got three uh, bit from Henry, six yeah. bit suited. And yeah, and I think this is kind of... Mayer's thinking about putting in a cold four in the small blind with ace two off. Yeah, well, I, you know, this is a kind of a table dynamic thing, and I'll, I'll throw it your way, but I oh. kind of, I think it's it's really kind of cool. I was going to say, I mean, Henry, I think, wants to isolate Robert, right? Right. Uh, he, they all have chips, right. and if Mayer is aware of that, and he obviously is, because we haven't seen anything like this yet, he can use the ace blocker and put a ton of pressure on these guys. I guess so. The problem is, is he just made it 15-5, and if I'm Henry, I'm sure shit peeling this 6-5 uh, suited every time. And when this happens, when you do get a peel here, you have six, or you have ace two offsuit. One of the worst possible hands to have in this situation. The yep. hand just plays so unbelievably well post flop out of position. So I don't hate the move, but if you're gonna do it, make it bigger. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe. What are you looking at? Like 17-5? 19 even. That's a big three bet. I mean, would you would big you four bet, bet? Would you four bet 19 with aces also? That big? Not with aces, but with with like maybe jacks and ace king. Maybe not aces. Right. Okay. Maybe not exclusively aces, but any other any other value for bet hands. And if, yeah, maybe maybe not kings either. But if you if you want to have like that sizing as well. Oh, look at you, this. And you still want to balance. You can also. He's gonna fold still. He's and calling. He's gonna call this. No, he's definitely not gonna call. You want to bet? Yeah, I do. No, well now he's. He, he, I was actually just gonna <laughs> offer. It. I know you no. should have. You should have. You've got if you got in like two seconds he's earlier. Or nothing. You could have. You could have been up eight bucks. I would have taken it, but it looked, then he looked like he was going to fold. We should, like, really see a call here. It's 9000 to call. So he's getting a pretty good price. And he does Very make the nice. call. Good lad, Bulero. The hand already starts off crazy. Robert opens UTG with the 6-5 suited. I'm putting out the 3-bet. I know Robert is the guy that opens 3 really rewrite. Right. He's been on my table before. We move to the feature table. So if normally he's aggressive and like to put out a 3-bet here with the 6-5 suited. And our friend Maya... Also another chairman puts out the format now from the small blind with the aces off suit. Also a fine play given how wide and three betting there. I'd rather see a suited hand there on his end just because it has a little bit more post war playability. So something like ace five suited is certainly fine to have in the four bet bluffing range. Maybe something like ace check off suit or ace check suited there as well, since you cannot really flat my three bet. So once Robert folds, I get a pretty good price to call in position. It's already a big pot, but I have six five suited in position, so let's see a flop. Come on, be there. Let's see a big flop here. And I assume my R is is putting a continuation bet out there with pretty much any flop except an ace. Well, you have to with this kind of bad hand. Oh, and he spikes a deuce. <laughs> now, Henry's got a gut shot. Mm -hmm. He's got a gutter. He's probably got a float once. If there was a heart out there, he'd definitely float. Mm -hmm. I mean, he'd love it like 9-4 deuce with just one heart. I think, uh... Well, it looks like he's cutting out... No, is that only two oranges? I was going to ask you what the sizing is. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he's going to bet too small. And I think he is. It looks like 11 7. Mm. Yeah, 12 7. That's just too small. Henry's got to float this. If your intention is to get value here, then uh, then bigger, then bigger uh, this is a fine fine bet. But you want to take it down, man. Bet 20K. I mean, is the bet okay if you're planning on double barreling? Yeah, Most but I don't turns? think he is. Well, that's, yeah, that's no good then. On a 9 4 deuce flop, Maya decides to file the one third part C bet, which I really do like. I think this is the universal size you're going to do on this flop, on this try board, when you're C betting. I have a pretty similar spot with the 6 5 suited. I just got a P once because I think he will give up on a lot of turns and I can bet and take it down in, this, in that case. You know, hands like ace check, I said ace 5 all just giving up on turn, or quite often they are. I also think my flanking range is quite strong in this spot, given that I would. Flat aces, queens, queens, pre-flop and on the flop, and would share my flush draws. So I think flatting here, I do not have that many draws. I mean, it's kind if of. If you're a, a one and done guy, then better a little bit more. Oh, a double gutter now for Henry. So like this hand is probably gonna go check. Henry bets like twenty-four thousand, and and that's that. Wow, this is Don't this is think? this is pretty awesome. This is a good hand. Well, I was gonna say, I mean, if your intention is to Especially double barrel, Henry should basically have like all of his his value over cards, yeah. over pairs. You know, like like I think that Henry should probably be flatting like oh, literally jacks. every single one of his over pairs. Oh wow, he's gonna go for the second barrel. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't mind this. I don't mind yeah, I mean, the small you, bet if you are gonna double barrel. Absolutely, I didn't think you would. I didn't think you would. If you're one and done though, bet 
21,000. How, how much did he bet here? 21,000? Ugh, and Bueller just got a fold now. He could ship it, I guess. Oh, he's got man. eight outs. He's got eight outs to basically a hand that he knows he's going to win, right? Now on the turn, Maya bets one third pot again and puts him in a really tough spot. I don't really think we should jam a6-5 suited here, given that I have better hands to it, like sets and aces. I also don't think Maya is particularly right here again on the turn. I expect him to give up with a hand like king-check. Another issue we face here is that the SPR is pretty low. The pot is already up to his 80k and I have 60k left, which means that he doesn't fold a hand like ace-queen of diamonds, ace-jack of diamonds, ace-10 of diamonds. So we really don't have that much fold equity versus hands that have more equity than us. What we try to do here by a jam is push him off hand, exactly like ace to off, like a complete stone bluff. But I was only 30 minutes at the table and didn't really know too much about him at that time. So we got bluff, pretty crazy spot. I don't really think our fold on the turn is too bad without a further read on him. We're gonna get him next time. And he can't, can he call He ever? shows it, he showed the ace deuce. Can he ever just call? Nah, you can't call. You have 40k behind and there's like just infinite in the pot. Yeah. It's like 120k in the pot. And he well, the thing is, though, you know. the bluff and Bulero did not fucking even move. He's livid. He's livid. Bastion in the hijack with the ace nine suited. He's going to put a raise out there, right? Looks like uh, 35. Yeah, 3,500. Ooh, Henry picks up ace queen in the cutoff. Is this almost always a three bet for you or are you flatting occasionally? Um, I think I'm flatting more often than not. And I don't mind a 3-bet because we go heads up a lot of the time. But I also don't really want to get 4-bet here. I mean, what do you do with ace-queen offsuit when you get 4-bet uh, when you're playing about 40 big points deep from a, you know, semi-passive player? Yeah, you just got to let it go then. Oh, yeah. and Jurgen picks up ace-king. What I was going to ask you was if you 3 bet it and then somebody in the back squeezes. Now, Jurgen's a little Cold bit different. Cold 4-bets? Yeah. Are, are, yeah. How, what do you do with your ace queen there? Because your ace queen's a little bit under rep. Well, it depends on the player. Of course. Um, but generally, fold. Yeah. You, it, uh, are you talking about if you flat and then somebody three bet squeezes? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, probably call. I now, if it's Jurgen, obviously it's a little bit different because this guy is, you know. He's been a complete rock. Right, he's got like you so know, pretty, cobwebs pretty, on his chips. Pretty clear cut shove for him here. For 38,000? Yeah. Yeah. He's got, what, 23 bigs? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It is 40 big blinds. Yeah, no, 40 big blinds. That was right. Uh, oh, he's got full 40,000. Okay. But yeah, Henry is whew, almost price into a call here. Especially when you can consider that he probably does shove ace jack once in, once in a while. And he's going to be shoving a ton of pairs that you're getting a fantastic price first. You know, jacks, tens, nines, eights. And yeah. yeah, I think that, I mean, Jurgen is on the tighter side, but Henry hasn't been playing with him like all day, like, or like for as long as we have. Um, so, I mean, he's got to be able to assume that he can have ace jack suited here. And I still think that Jurgen can have ace jack suited here. I, I, I think, I think Jurgen might fold, but I think you have, you have to, you have to accept that he does have it sometimes. And like I said, even if he doesn't have ace jack here, you're getting the right price to call because he has so many worse pairs. So yeah, I think, I think Henry has to call. Yeah, he makes the call. He hates it. Yeah, he, he makes the he call. He doesn't like it, but. Well, it's a, it's a large percentage of his own stack. I mean... Yeah, but like we were talking about, it just seems like you just do have to call. So this hand is simple math, but I just didn't want to go through with it, guys. Obviously, once the tight big band champs, I'm not happy about it, but let's quickly analyze the spot and really see if we maybe did a mistake there. So in the pot, there's 57,400 plus the 30,900 that I got a call. So the math here looks like this. We will take what we have to call and divide it by the pot plus what we will call. And we get a percentage of 35% here. So we need to have 35% equity versus range to make the call with the ace queen off. So let's open up the equilib and see what our equity looks like versus his range. We have the ace queen off and we expect him to be jamming the pretty, pretty tight range. I will not give him ace check now on this run and quickly see how we are doing with that range because I already think it should be a call. And yeah, we have 35% equity here was that range so it would be a profitable call since we only need 35% and we have 35.6 then we gotta add in that he could have something like ace check suited maybe something like king queen suited in a blue moon ace check off maybe and once we do something like that oh I just deleted it again once we do something like that our equity goes up by a huge amount and even though he might not be jamming this I think ace check let's put in the ace check suited just to see and yeah, we get 37%, so it's kind of close. We are definitely making money doing the call. What's really important to know, though, is that the tournament is quite soft, so we don't have to take every plus every spot that we can't get. 
but we are winning a lot of money and if he's family ace jack it's definitely definitely a good call so it's tough to say right now guys what is your opinion on this ball let me know in the comments let's see how it ran out all right can we get a better view of the uh, board here please now had he had he just had he flatted and there was a big three bet he can then fold you think it says that henry wins well, well, I mean, <gasps> okay here we go <laughs> that helps uh henry open-ended here looking for an eight or a king it's not an eight or a king. Queen obviously would be no good now. And there's no eight or king there. No, double up for Jurgen. That's a big double up, by the way. Yeah. Talking about, uh, you know, that's about an 80, what, 86,000 chip pot. So Henry is going to be pretty short, probably around, around the 15 big blind mark. Come on, dealer. We lose the pot, but we still got chips. And you know what they say, a chip in a chair, baby. If you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Drop the sub down below. I'll catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know. Peace out.